All right, all right, all right. It is the Friday. It is Friday. And it's time. It is Hero Card Friday. Hero Card uh, Friday. Hey, Jenny, Zillin, Captain Bowser, Little Wolf. How's it going? Hey, Bruno Romanos. Bruno Romanos. So today I will be doing... Oh, my leg is falling asleep. Nice. Nice. Today I'll be doing my hero card. Start sketching it up. Hey, Dr. Sheldon. How's it going? So, my general idea for um, uh, for my hero card is hero versus monster. And I was thinking it just as a representation of me always trying to slay my monsters like uh, if i would compare myself to others i would i would say that i am always the guy that like doesn't give up right like i if there's a problem i i solve the problem rather than shift from it so for me that feels like that's a good representation of me overcoming monsters in my life right i feel, I feel like well, I, that's a philosophical idea uh, the hero itself versus the monster um is going to be kind of like stylized realism um and i i might for shits and giggles make like a realistic zelda link uh, from the game zelda as in the main hero being link uh, like a link slaying, uh, like a realistic uh, Zelda. I think that that that's gonna be like, I think the general idea. It doesn't necessarily need to be Link per se, but I do want to make fan art for Link realistic because I I did one many years ago and it still kind of circulates. So I thought it's time to make another one. I don't know the Sisyphus. Uh, is Captain Boss, but most likely. <laughs> hey, Kilrathi, Eric Moy, uh, Voodoo Breakfast, how's it going? Happy Friday uh, to everyone, and everyone, happy Friday. Um, for those who are subscribers, who are not on Discord, or who are on Discord and not on the subscriber list, do let me know, and I will add you. I will try to l think subscription on twitch with discord I, I know you can sync them and so you're you'll automatically be in the sub category um i think that should be doable i will look into it hey captain jetlag oh what up oh the man pushing up the mountain yeah but that that is more like a perpetual struggle and not necessarily overcoming your de demons. But yeah, Sisyphus, kinda. <laughs> Isn't Sisyphus, uh, Sisyph, Sisyphus, uh, doomed to constantly push the boulder up the mountain? Like it's a penalty? Yeah, it's Zelen. he it should be a it's a it's he's like in um, he's a cursed right or in in uh yeah exactly exactly but for me that's not like my aim right my aim is that i i win over my demons but there's always a new demon i, I guess that's what you that you mean captain boss so the, let's sketch up the sketch the general idea. Like, how can we frame it? Like, so the the first idea is is all right. So there's um, 
hero, right? Link. And uh, he needs a heroic pose. I was thinking he could be flying in the air. Like with his sword. Swing. And this would be uh, a monster. Well, we should probably frame it a little bit better, a little bit more like that. Rah, screaming, <laughs> very comical. Anyways, why is it some sort of monster? Like, okay, that's uh, that's thumbnail. One not finished, but thumbnail one realized. Right, I think that's the that's the tricky part is realizing or capturing the general idea. I will go back to them and, and sketch them up further, but as I only have thirty minutes, I, I want at least establish all three. Uh, hey, concept Sam, how's it going? Atsuki, what up? All right, sketch one. Label it. Okay, sketch two. Let's see. Link is stabbing down the the sword into the head of a monster, aka me slaying the beast. Slap. There's the the the, the monster. Here's maybe you can see some sort of well, maybe there's tentacles. Okay, let's say what that's a tentacle monster. Uh, we want the framing to show a little bit of every story element in the focal point, and everything outside of it is supportive to the focal point. So when you see the illustration, um, whoa, that was interesting. Why didn't you do that? Did you see? Uh, like I was painting there, but the brush mark was over there. Weird. Captain Jetlag, or really, is it uphill with the children, with your child? I, I can guarantee you. Uh, um, oh, there was Jetlag, not Boss. You don't have a kid, Jetlag, do you? So, the general also, um, the general idea is when you do actions it should either be before impact or after impact never the moment of impact uh, <laughs> just like, yeah not that you're aware of exactly so i think i think i gotta have at after impact right it's all the sword is already in there uh, Link is like smashing it in. Uh, the the monster's head is like screaming. Uh, that is sketch two. Thumbnail two done. Okay, number three. What can we do? It could be it could be pre-fight uh, face-off. Let's do a pre-fight face-off. So we have a massive... Why is it like that? Oh, Massive monster. Battle ready. It could be screaming, of course. All monsters scream. Some scary arms. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Kill Rafi, yeah. You gotta make some blah, 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 blah. exactly. You can't, you can't not to, especially if you're moving fast. All right, so Link in a heroic pose, sword ready, shield like that. That's pretty cool. Well, come on, come on. Let's see perspective. Mm, something. Like 
FS bro, yeah. The monsters always be screaming. So that's number three. Okay, so we do one, two, three. So that I can move the canvases without taking a knee. All right. And now, so we get a good overview. Let's make it. Hey, Quentin, how's it going? Oh, I need a uh, frames three as well. One, two, three. Bam, big old bag -o. Okay, now we open all those, take the frames back out again, and then we take the backgrounds and pull them out again. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Then we make uh, then we make mask on the on the group so we can paint unhindered within each category. Yes. Um yeah, ASCII. Hey, Payantoto, how's it going? Welcome. Oh, you bought the first uh, tutorial from JAMA. That's pretty cool. Um, ASCII, yeah, square square canvases are is tricky. It's about it's about uh, it's about uh, it's about the focal point. When it's when it's square, it's all about the focal point, and everything around it is supportive. And uh, you can't lean on the format to have a good picture. You have to craft the picture a lot more. Anyways, um, right. So let's start thinking about light on this one. We have the general idea of. Captain Jetlag, what's Jama? Jama Jurabaev. Uh, he's an um, art director at Lucas Arts. Now Lucas Films, is he? He's um, a really good uh, artist that pushes technology. He's like VR, three D, two D painter guy, and he does some crazy stuff. Uh, really cinematic. And he has a, quite a few tutorials where he goes through cinematic concepting and uh, VR a blender. Uh, what's that called? Sticky brush? Smudge brush? <laughs> Squishy brush? I can't remember. Something. Something brush. Hey, Hurunsa, how's it going? Algani, how are you? How are you? Captain Jetlag, yeah. Uh, Jama is uh, uh, one of those top artists that you just go, fuck you, fuck you and your skills. <laughs> worse, even worse, is that he's a really, really, really nice guy. It's even worse, you know. How dare you? How dare you be such a talented and nice guy? How rude. <laughs> oh, grease pencil. There we go. That's what it's called. Grease pencil. Not sticky brush. <laughs> Man, I am so dog shit when it comes to names. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's just that information is not important for my brain to, to store. Absolute dog shit quality when it comes to names. Fucking ridiculous. 
Hey, Dame Div Deviant, how's it going? Eyes die. Uh, smooth talker. Hey, Morphia, how's it going? Nice of you to drop by. Oh, yeah. Right, so we gotta just, we gotta remember, like, as the boss, we gotta make some sort of boss character. And every boss character in every Zelda game has a theme. So we gotta make sure that when I do proceed, um, that that the that aspect is is uh, there. We can have some can have some dust. It's all, now it's about lighting conditions. And um, lighting conditions and uh, framing. And like, how can we make the the painting great? So when we switch off the frame, the painting looks good. But if we would have to crop it, <laughs> I was covering the canvas to show you with my hands, like that. Am I stupid or what? Am I? I think I'm, I'm lost today. God damn it. <laughs> I kept the jet lag. There we go. There we go. This this roadside uh, roadkill. Hey, Eric, Eric, how's it going? Very nice. Hello. All right, we got we. Got, I think I think we got um. Uh, I think I will have to what the, do this though. I think um. Why are you doing that? You shouldn't be doing that. I think I need to squash it a little bit though to put him better in the frame like that. And now I need to expand the canvas. Yeah, I think that this is better frame. Now it reads clearer. <sighs> One last, uh, I will use an overlay. I've been playing around with overlay lately just to kind of like, um, get some of those kind of more painterly lines in uh, and help push uh, focal points without having to repaint. I think when you do a lot of brush brush heavy work, you don't want to remake the brush marks that you're making when it's uh, like intentional brush marks. And if you go over them again, just to tighten an area, you can lose some of that uh, energy so what I, I I tend to do is use overlay to help maintain that energy, and um, and overlay just helps uh, to to uh, keep it intact on those marks so that it's not hundred uh, percent coverage. Yeah. Captain Jetlag, yeah, me and Captain Jetlag will meet in Riga and have beer, huh? Will you? No. You will not, but I will. I will buy Captain Jetlag a beer. Okay, first thumbnail. It works. It works. I'd say yeah, that's a good, good luck, bra uh, boss moment, right? Okay, thumbnail two. Link stabbing something in the head. Is the framing the strongest? Framing is not the strongest. Let's do a Dutch tilt. Obviously, if the whole composition is... Let's do a triangular composition, actually. So we have a strong vertical line, and then we should fan out to each side. And we've got to have, within the focal point, not the whole composition, but we need the elements of the composition. So we could put the tentacles. Um, we could have 
maybe floating things. What? Why are you doing that? Oh shit. Hmm. Weird. Eric here, no, uh, I, 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 I'm I, currently in luck. Uh, Captain Jetlag is on like a, a Europe vacation at that time, I think. Okay, so we got the monster. Let's, let's say uh, like an aquatic theme monster. We got the, the strike of the sword in the head, the tentacles flying about. Uh, gotta have some mouth. Wow, how can we have what what kind of what let's let's try to have a setting, right? So we can help the composition. That one is like temple pillars. Aquatic, we could have uh, we could have a uh, not aquatic, we could have it spidery. We could have a mm. yeah. We need some sort of narrative elements in order to make the composition stronger, because I, I'm feeling the composition isn't as strong as it like could be. We don't want it too symmetrical either. Hey, Kirill, welcome back. <laughs> Captain Bugs. Okay. We gotta have gotta have vertical lines I want compositionally. I want that down stabbing motion to come across correctly. Maybe we can have it raining. I think that will be cool. Aquatic it could be raining. Oh, we could have like water. Ooh. That's a cool idea. That is a cool idea. I approve. I approve. All right. So let's have it like that. And let's, let's put water surface like that. We could have like water splashing up to help the vertical aspect of it. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's cool. I dig it. I dig it. All right. Yeah, that works. That works. We could have the surface of the water there. We could have rain. Gotta. I mean, gotta make sure that we. I, Put some rain. Oh no! Let's put it on a separate layer, so I don't need to overpaint if I choose this thumbnail. And I think I will put a uh, a vote up. You can you can you can vote on the Discord which one I should finish. <laughs> Kirill, no. I, today actually, I, I I shaped it and cut it. It was a lot longer. Now it's just shaped. Uh, Captain Boss, I do speak Latvian. I I speak five languages. Three. Three, I would say fluently. 
four, 80%, fifth, 50%. And then you get a lot of uh, like for free languages, which you understand. Like if you under if you can speak German, you understand Dutch to some degree. If you speak Swedish, you you understand Norwegian to some degree, uh, and so on. Eric, Eric, I am occasionally in UK. I lived in UK for like six, eight years, but I moved last few years. <laughs> Eric, Eric, yeah, exactly. Learn one, get two for free. Okay, so the pose of the hero on number three here. What time am I on? Eight minutes left. Ah, shh. Okay, let's do like a hero flying mid-air pose. Wait, he would he would need to be hmm. Hmm. Leading. How would you you would have it above your head, right? Like I'm gonna smash you. Or that's more makes more sense, does it? Ah. Eric, Eric, a little bit the Slavic, uh, but it's not that black and white, you know. But uh, I mean, obviously, if there's neighboring uh, languages, it'll be easy to understand way easier than a completely different group of languages. Uh, but let's say the Baltic languages are very different from each other. Like Latvian is, is different from Estonian, where Estonian is way more Finnish. It's like a strange version of Finnish Estonian when Lithuanian is way more like Slavic in that sense and Latvian is uh, just different from them. <laughs> Ice die. Uh... Yeah, sure. I mean, there's a lot of creative people in the Discord. And a technical, like, there's not a lot of 3D people there. There are some, but they're busy. And uh, they are the only ones who are able to give a little bit more technical feedback in terms of modeling. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah. It's hard to just comment on a model flat out, you know, in that sense. Like, oh, yeah. But I think a lot of people see it regardless. I mean, what are we? Are like 700 people on Discord? How many are we uh, total? Uh, online is 120, 130. Offline, I don't know how many. Can I, can I see? 526 offline currently so that's that's a, like a good good 600 and 700 people uh dame deviant my favorite language i would say it's swedish i like swedish i'm proud of being swedish so uh, i don't mind uh, i don't mind it in that sense, I I I, I love uh, being Swedish. And uh, and another, I I kind of like Latvian 
because it's a unique language and uh, it's the language of my wife and my children and it's it's kind of like a cute language uh it's very different from all the other languages i know and uh, which makes it which makes it fun to to learn hmm what's the okay we want scale is he Okay, let's do it like that. Let's. What's this narrative here? Rising giant. Giant monster coming up. Maybe it's made out of rock. Screw it. Should the whole thing be like falling down? That's pretty cool. Maybe more like that. Yeah, I like that better. What's my opinion of PewDiePie? Fucking good for him. Good for him. Personally, I, I would have a hard time being friends with him if his real persona is his YouTube persona. Oh man, I, I, I wouldn't be able to deal with him. But as a kind of a, as a online personality, it's not my cup of tea at all. But good for him. Congratulations on being a YouTube millionaire. I'm envious for that. Like, but I wouldn't be able to compromise my integrity to the same extent just for the for the money. In that sense, like, oh, would I be able to ham it up for a million for one year? Yeah. Would I build my platform over like eight, ten years to eventually make millions being this cringe person? I wouldn't be able to make it. But if, I mean, if it's, if he's like that naturally, I don't hold it against it, but it's not my cup of tea at all. PewDiePie. Good for him. Eyes die. Yep. Yep. Agreed. Good for him, but man, I, I happily just straight up punch him in the face if I would meet him. If he is that person. In real life. Obviously, he may be, maybe not. Maybe it's just like this act, this rolling, this personality he has created to roll it, roll around in YouTube money. Then also well played, you know. <laughs> what can you do? Hey, Delirium, welcome back. Nice to see you here again. I think it's easy to hate on people, <laughs> as you heard. Uh, but. I hear over here my son watching these YouTube personalities about like uh, Minecraft and so on. It's this fake loud, this fake loudness, like the all the time, like non stop, just fucking uh, struggle. <laughs> But you can't do anything about it. It's like, all right, all right. You enjoy that YouTube, son. I mean, like I said, I mean, PewDiePie, he's a cool guy, most likely. But the, the online personality, I, I can't deal with. 
Why? What's happening here? Erika Ricky, yeah, it's interesting. It's like a shell. Yatsky, yeah, the overreaction, the the like the loudness is like cringe. Um all right, so these are the thumbnails. I will post them. Um, I will post them on Discord, and we can we can vote on which one that I should do. I think that's better. And then, uh, then I'll, uh, next Friday I'll continue which one we decide to that I should push. Uh, so we, we we got a week to decide uh, which one I should finish. Uh, I might spend some time over the week to to work some of them up, uh, just to, so they're a little bit better presented, like a little bit more realized. Obviously, it's half an hour divided by three, um, twelve minutes, thirteen minutes. No. Nine? Nine, nine, eighteen. No. <laughs> Wait, what's thirty divided by ten? Wow, am I stupid or what? Ugh, that is it's a bit um, I'm a bit stupid there. Rick. So let's see, let's raid someone. What is this? I'm watching the art chat uh, section. Um, hmm. It is uh, looking very grim indeed. Okay, let's see this person. I'm just gonna. Uh, doing kind of manga line artish. What do you think? This. Is PewDiePie on Twitch? He isn't though, is he? He's a uh, YouTube. Um, I'm trying to find something decent here, and it's not lewd artist. Yeah, no. Night Lancer. That kind of looks. Kind of interesting, but he doesn't. Huh. Let's 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 raid him. Let's see, what's your name? Oops. Okay, so we're gonna raid this person. 
I have no idea. First time visiting. Uh, we'll see what that is all about. Uh, have a great Friday. Good night if you're that part of the world. Uh, I will try to stream over the weekend, like I always say, but never do. But I will try. Um, thank you, everyone, for joining. It was fantastic having uh, some some discussions. Uh, we'll raid after the outro. You guys are the best. <laughs>